Okay, so um, a fluorescent microscope is like a standard microscope in terms of it allows you to visualize things within a cell, um, DNA or proteins. But the fluorescent aspect of the microscope really helps us to be able to look at more than one thing at the same time within the cell that we can label with different fluorescent um, markers. So we can label ATM, for example, with a red marker, and we can label DNA breaks with a green marker. It then allows us to be able to visualize multiple different proteins in the context of DNA damage at the same time. So it's a very vital piece of, piece of kit. Okay, our current fluorescent microscope um, has been in our lab for, for the last 15 years. It's been an, a workhorse piece of equipment that we have used throughout this time for our AT diagnostic services and also our AT related research. Unfortunately, um, it's coming to the end of its lifespan and it's becoming too um, expensive um, to, to keep repairing. So that is the reason that um, I'm applying to Action for AT for some money to replace this essential piece of kit. Um, the current cost um, for replacement is about £37,000. This fluorescent microscope is so important for the research and diagnosis in our laboratory because we can carry out multiple different uh, assessments of ATM function using this microscope from looking at how the cell is able to repair the damage induced by ionizing radiation and how ATM recognizes the damage to DNA and the impact of certain mutations, what they affect on the cell's ability to repair DNA damage, affect the localization of ATM going to the sites of damage. This becomes incredibly important um, when we have patients that have very mild mutations or mutations where we're not quite sure about how pathogenic they are or how deleterious they are. These multiple different assays that we can use to assess ATM function really helps us to determine that any variations or mutations that we found in the ATM gene actually are the cause of the disease. Without this we would um, we'd be very limited about our ability to, to test ATM function and the effect that certain mutations have on this. AT research is so important as for, for me and many other laboratories is because the ATM protein or lack of the ATM protein has a, a massive impact on so many different parts of the body, the nervous system, the immune system, protecting us against the development of tumours, diabetes. There are so many avenues of research that the ATM protein touches on that it's very clear the importance of this protein. So despite the fact that AT could be considered a rare disorder, that it actually, the study of the ATM protein and AT is disease has a, a, a wider reaching um, influence on many different types of research. People should support Action for AT. Um, it's very clear that AT research is very important. My lab is funded primarily by charity money and I work on rare human diseases like AT. It's incredibly difficult now at this moment to find funding for research into these rare human diseases. So it's very nice that we have a charity that's specifically dedicated to AT as a disease and funding AT research. It's really nice to know that there is a charity out there that is devoted to funding research and research that is, is able to make a direct translation to the patients.